what is up and welcome back to my channel so if it's your first time this is beauty by chini so in today's video i want to share with you guys the settings that i set on my canon g7x mark ii to get it looking like this so if you want to see how i do that then keep watching nice to have you guys back so previously i showed you guys the settings that i did on my dslr camera which is the big camera like i always say okay so i showed you guys a lot of things and how i use the setting to do my makeup videos and as well as you can use it to take your pictures and other things okay so in today's video it's all about canon g7x mark ii so i want to guide you guys through like show you guys a lot of things and as well show you guys the settings and also give some details of how you can use your canon g7x and enjoy it without regretting it okay so let's dive into the video so over here this is the casing that i got for my canon g7x so this one covers the lens okay from dust to enter it so i'm gonna remove this case in here and show you guys what i want to show you guys so this is actually how it's looking like and here we have g7x so among all these settings right here i don't use it so i only use the video mode okay so one thing i love most about this is that if you set it in video mode you can as well use it to take pictures so there is no way you can set it like this and without using it to take pictures unlike sony a5000 when you set it in video mode you can use it to take pictures so you can you just go back again and put it in non-video mode before you can be able to use it to take pictures so that is how it is so over here i put uv lens protector so it protects the lens from dust and as well as many things so over here you have the wi-fi you just press the button and start the process okay you have your hdmi here and here you have your recording ring function is delete and this is one you just click here you get the videos and over here you have menu and many more things so i'm gonna go ahead to on the camera so when i on the camera this is basically how the inside is looking like okay so what i will do is that um i go to the menu i click the menu so to the settings that i showed you guys so this is actually how i set them so i put it in manual my video mode is in manual not in standard with standard you cannot adjust anything you can't do anything with that so you must go back to manual before you can be able to you know do that so oh, again i go to image before i always like to put my image quality in raw and this size but um i don't know why i don't like the raw like that you just see that this one makes it better okay so again this is my shooting information and i go to plus two this is face id and other things so this the tree is face tracking so if you put it in one point autofocus maybe you are very sure that you are not going to move you are going to sit steady or you got you're gonna position that in steady before you put it in uh, one point autofocus but because i move a lot whenever i'm vlogging and whenever i'm taking my pictures that's why i put it in tracking so here we have a manual focus and autofocus i put it in off okay i don't know why but i think it's not useful or maybe something like that so the next thing i do again is this one autofocus assistant beam is when you connect it with your phone and you are taking the picture from your phone you will set you need to press the autofocus to focus it will make sound and safety manual focus and all of that so number five moving over to number five so my auto lighting optimizer is in the highest okay but the colors around you when you are recording so that helps to you know make it to be steady not to be changing all the time highlight tune priority is off so number six i have white balance i leave it in auto white balance so custom white balance i don't know how to custom i leave it there so white balance correction 
I don't even know that so I also leave it there so for the picture style this is one of my best picture style that I'm using okay in both cameras let me show you guys how I set my picture style so my picture style I go to this ring function and that is where you can change everything so neutral picture style is amazing picture style you can ever have in your camera so for the strength I is, is in zero and the this one the sharpness fineness is in one so this one again the threshold is in one then the contrast guys like I said if you have all the settings down it can actually help you to you know for your pictures when you take them it can be easy for you to edit your pictures okay so this contrast I remove I reduce it to minus zero okay minus four you guys can see that so for my saturation is in minus two okay so I put my saturation in minus two then the next one again is the color tone the color tone I leave it at zero okay because if you tamper with this it can actually give you different colors and you end up messing up messing things up okay so this is actually how how i set up these settings to get the amazing videos if i like i color grade it if i don't like i leave it without color grading it so this is how i set it to get those amazing vlogging you look okay so over to number seven of course you guys know that number seven is only self timer self timer you can use it to set your timing like when you want to take your pictures um if it's gonna be 10 seconds before taking your picture so everything is gonna be there two seconds you can customize how many seconds maybe here you can customize by yourself um if you want to set it for five seconds or maybe three seconds okay so it all depends so number eight um, my recording size is 30 frames per second, full HD 30 frames per second in 1920 by 1080p. Okay, um, this is actually big because why I leave it in this 30 frames per second is that then you need to double it to make it 1 by 60. Okay, so if I should take 50, 60 frames per second, that means I have to do it 1 by 120 so i don't really know about that maybe it will make the color to be too brighting so i just leave it in 30 frames per second and it's amazing the qualities are great okay um but don't worry this settings depends on what you set on your video format okay so if i still go and choose another type of video format this one right here is going to totally change okay so over here this is about sound it doesn't have mic input so you come here you choose your wind filter then my wind filter i leave it in auto so my attenuator i leave it in on before i leave it in auto but i think it has this base or like the voice there when you record in your camera is not that great so i think if you put it in on it will be more moderate than the auto okay so that is all i do so going back to this place this is my video format to get that 30 frames per second so if i should set it to pal then you see that this video format is gonna be 25 frames per second um hd 25 frame this one 25 frame so it's gonna be full hd with pal it's gonna be 60 uh, 50 frames per second okay so 50 frames per second if i should double the shooter speed that should be 100 okay so that is why i leave it at um ntsc which is good for me because that is the only one that can make me understand what i'm doing so as you guys can see right here you will see that this here this color looks um little washed out because there is no saturation and there is no contrast in it so if i am recording or maybe i'm outside recording then i can turn on my nd filter okay then i will simply go here i'll simply go to this place here 
I'll come this place and click ND filter then when I click ND filter this is gonna how it's gonna look like on and off so if I should on it the video is gonna be dark then if I should off it it's gonna be moderate okay so this is where you come and on or off the ND filter if you are outside then if you are inside you of course you, need, you know you need to off it <laughs> then for my iso it all depends like you guys can see we have lighting here so i can as well choose to put it in 100 but it doesn't have 100 it only has 125 okay so now that i've put in it in 125 you guys can see that the picture here is is that um is is washed out okay the picture is washed out so if you put it in auto that is how it's going to be like so you can use it to brighten it up this is how it's looking like or you can as well change it put it in 200 so it all depends on what you are working with and it all depends on the environment you are in then if you see that the brightness maybe you leave it in auto and the brightness is too much so what you have to do is just go to your f this here i don't know what i can't remember what it's called again so go to this place and set it reduce it okay because the more you reduce it the more um the light will be darkened okay so i go here and reduce it so i reduce it to you know limit those brightness so you can do that up to 11 okay so you just control everything don't go back to control your settings just control everything here so this is what will tell you that oh the light is bright is moderate it's too bright this and that so just control everything here and leave your settings the way they are and trust me you're gonna enjoy your video so that's basically it guys um here i told you guys i put it in 160 and over here i'm gonna put it in four points okay and here you are that is all i do to set up my canon g7x mark ii so if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and as well subscribe in the subscribe button turn on the notification bell for more videos from beauty by chili and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys